Okay, guys. Last video of the night. I'm gonna get up early so I can make a video. If not, I will make a uh, chart predictions for uh, for New York sessions. I'll give you guys my thoughts for tonight, and I'll give you my last minute thoughts for all before I go to class. Let me share my screen. Bam. Okay, so you got the non-monitor ECB meeting, and it's exactly when London opens. So be careful, be careful with that. It could send Euro right back down. But what I see right now on the four hour chart for Euro, for the four hour chart, it is stabilizing on the support here. Another support here, it's coming right back up here, looking for 118.8, 118.9, 119. It could, it could possibly just shoot right back up to 119 through an upper band here on the four hour chart. But it has to break this first. That's what I see. Um, that's what I see on the four hour chart here. And the reason why we were, uh, I was swinging those trades, uh, the first couple hours of uh, Tokyo sessions on Euro and selling USD JPY. I'll show you guys the four hour chart on USD JPY here. So you can see on the four hour chart, three red candles this is the solid red candle. This is gonna keep going down. It hits 112.0 here. Okay. Like I said, I'm looking for it to hit the support here. This support is pretty much exactly at 112.0. If it breaks that, then we're looking for a 111.8, 111.6, maybe a possible 111.4, but I don't really foresee it. It all depends if it keeps going down. If it's a solid breakout on the on the lower band, then it'll, it'll try and create another solid breakout on 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 the lower band again on the four hour before it decides to shoot itself back up. There's been nothing really positive for the U.S. So for tomorrow, I'm expecting good news for the ADP employment change. Uh, and uh, well, I'm, I'm pretty much expecting all good news in the morning for US. Uh, let's see here on economic calendar. I'm only showing USDJPY and Euro because I'm only on those two trades. Uh, let me look at the pound. Pound's dropping back. Uh, let me see. There's no, there's no significant data no significant economic indicators for the pound for London. It is still revolving around the Brexit talks with the UK and European Union. That's still going on. They're supposed to make a final decision by this Friday. So Friday can be a jackpot or no jackpot, if you know what I mean. You can make a lot of money on that unexpected spike or you can lose a lot of money. So that's why I'm staying away from the pound because the pound is gonna it, the pound is gonna shift uh, regardless whether if there is economic releases or not. So I'm not really too I'm not really looking into the pound now. Tomorrow, the most significant news for for New York session is the BOC rate statement and the interest rate decision from uh, Bank of Canada. This is all happening at nine in the morning central time. I am really predicting for pretty much all Canadian pairs to drop back, like USD CAD, Euro CAD, GBP CAD. Now, the only way it would rise up is if they cut their interest rate and and if they don't release anything good from their uh, statement. Most importantly, it will spike up because they're leaving the rates unchanged, but it can spike right back down. That's what, 
this is what I'm anticipating. It'll spike right up for the for leaving the rates unchanged and then spike right back down, retracing right back down, leaving a bad uh, monetary uh, statement. That's just the way I see it right now because we'll take a look at USDCAD. USDCAD is pretty much dropping back tonight along with US dollar index and USD Swiss franc. We can look at USD Swiss franc. Same thing, same setup. They're all dropping back. US, USD pairs are dropping back. So back to USD CAD. It, it's been dropping back, and, it, and if it keeps dropping back, it keeps hitting here. If it keeps dropping back all the way till Bank of Canada releases their uh, uh, monetary, I mean, uh, their, their rate statement and the, and the interest rate decision. Then it'll, it'll reverse and spike right back up and keep going back up. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> hang on. As well as you don't require. <clears throat> All right, so, uh, so that that would be the anticipation. Uh, <clears throat> let's look at EuroCAD and GBPCAD. See if they're on the same boat here with USDCAD. Nope, they're rising back up. Let's see here. EuroCAD's rising back up. Let me see GBPCAD rising back up. Nope, GBPCAD is driving back. So. <clears throat> And no, let me look at CAD JPY. It's down to okay. This would be a tough decision to make. And with US news plus Canada news, USD CAD is going to be like the most volatile pair in that session. Because it because you got U.S. economic news along along with Bank of Canada releasing their statement with the interest rate decision, any interest rate decision whether it's from Australia, New Zealand, Euro, uh, the uh, or U.K. the pound like I said or even U.S. it is a immediate um, you know reaction to the markets. You can make a lot of money. You can lose a lot of money. I will have my final thoughts on the Bank of Canada rate statement uh, tomorrow morning before I go to class. So, but from what I'm seeing right now, if if USD CAD keeps dropping along with the other CAD pairs, then they're gonna spike up regardless. Like I said, like I said, though, like Canada, Canada would be good for for leaving their rates unchanged. But if they leave a bad rate statement on what they talk about the economy, then it's going to send it right back down. And that means that USDCAD, EuroCAD, and GBPCAD will end up rising right back up. So that's very important. Um, at 9 a.m. Central Time, that's my time, so it'll be 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Check your economic calendar because it should put your time zones within there, especially my Facebook economic calendar. Um, I'm trying to see what else. I don't care about crude oil inventories. Okay. Okay, so London sessions be ready for non monetary policy ECB meeting right as soon as London opens. Swiss franc news for all Swiss pairs. Um, I don't really look at the Swiss pair, uh, Swiss news, but some are bad, some are good. I haven't been really following what Switzerland's been doing. Uh, but it will involve USD Swiss franc, um, Euro Swiss franc, GBP Swiss franc. So those are the pairs to take a look at. Now the ones that will go against it much higher would be the pound. 
the pound by far will go up higher than, than Euro Swiss franc and USD Swiss franc because the pounds the, the the value of the pound is higher than any any other currency. Um, let's see what else. ADP employment change at 7.15. It's not 7.30, it's at 7.15. And then right after that, 7.30, you got the unit labor cost and non-farm productivity. But I'm expecting good news for all of those. And then I think of Canada will be the last thing I will analyze before uh, before I go to class. So I'm, I'm giving my predictions now, but I'll give my final thoughts in the morning for Bank of Canada. So that will be the real money maker for that one. Okay, I think I, well, yeah, I took half, half my position on profits. Um, I'm letting a couple more positions for UCJPY to ride up till uh, another hour here. And then, uh, I am expecting euro and pound to regain itself during London sessions. Now, if it doesn't, within the first five, 10 minutes of London, if they end up reversing, then be prepared to reverse your trades. It's always the five, it's always within those first five to 10 minutes of London sessions. You'll start seeing, you start seeing currency pairs starts off. They'll start re reversing, retracing. Once you see that, be ready to make that, you know, uh, make that decision to reverse your trades because I won't be up for London. Yeah, I got a busy day. I got three classes. Mon uh, Wednesday is my busiest day. I have three, I have three classes. So uh, take one class in the morning, a class right after that in the morning, and then get a, little, get a couple hours, like maybe two hours, and after that I got night class. So Wednesday is my most busiest day. So basically I won't be able to trade any of these heavy, heavy news releases with you guys. That's why I'm trying to accommodate and hit the accuracy as much as possible for you guys. So other than that, uh, that is all I got. I'm gonna upload this.